Hey everyone and welcome back to another great under $5 eShop deals video where each and every week we go over the best games that are currently on sale and that will cost you less than $5. Basically, being on a budget shouldn't mean that you can't play great awesome games each and every week. Now just a quick reminder in case you're new to the channel and the series, I don't go over the deals that were mentioned in last week's video. And a lot of these deals last more than seven days. So to make sure you're not missing out on all the great games that are under $5, I always strongly recommend you also check out last week's video. Also, don't forget that each and every week now we give away a $5 eShop gift card. All you need to do to participate is leave a comment in the video down below and tune in to the weekend video of the regular eShop deals to find out if you won. Last thing before we get started, don't forget that if you like this content and you want to see more, best thing to do is to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. So we're starting out very strong this week with the first entry on our list being Air Memories of Old. That is currently 90% off, dropping the price to only $1.99. Now this is an amazing 3D exploration game that has you turning into a bird and taking to the skies. Now this is a game that even at its full price of $20, I would say normally is worth the investment. If you're into 3D exploration and adventure puzzle games, Air at $2 is a definite steal. And we're right away starting, like I said, very strong because this is going to be automatically one of my top picks for this week. If you've only got a couple of bucks to spend, give Air a try. I really don't think you'll be disappointed. The second entry on our list is another very strong game, which is Le Grand Legacy Tales of the Fatebound that is 90% off once again at only $1.99. Now this is a full fledged JRPG with some amazing visuals and some really really solid gameplay and at only two dollars with more than 50 hours of gameplay probably in the game this is one of the best inv investments time wise that you can make for this week so if you're into JRPGs and you haven't checked this one out definitely drop the two dollars for this week. Now, when I said that we're starting strong this week, I wasn't lying because even this third entry now is another amazing pickup for this week. And that is Flat Heroes that is currently 80% off once again at that $1.99 price. Now, do not be fooled by the visuals on this game. These are not cheap visuals. These are actually amazing visuals for the gameplay that you get. First of all, there's a free downloadable demo. If you need any convincing for yourself, Try this one out. It is free to try out and I am sure you'll be convinced. If you're into any type of platforming challenges, this game is amazing. It gives you over 300 levels and currently for only $2, it's an amazing pickup. And they do some really fantastic things with some really simple visuals. Now the next game on this list is a returning favorite on these lists and that is Moto Rush GT that is back on sale for this week for only $1.99 because it is 80% off. I say it each and every time, if you like arcade motorcycle racing, Moto Rush GT at only $2 can just not be a bad choice. Is it the top game on the Switch for $2 for this week? Probably not, but if you're into arcade racers, especially motorcycle racing, for only $2, you get a really, really awesome experience with Moto Rush GT. So the next game on our list is QYO Blaster that is back on sale for 80% off for only $1.99. And I love to suggest this game. This is basically a side scrolling shoot 'em up with some really crazy visuals. Think of the old school Parodius series or more recently, it looks a lot like the flying levels in Cuphead. Only thing here is although you'll be getting somewhat of a challenge from this game, don't expect the level of challenge you got from Cuphead. So this is a really fun game for anyone who wants to try out a really out there visually side scrolling shooter. Now the next game on our list is going to be Pixboy, which is an action platformer done in an awesome retro style. It has more than 24 visual styles to unlock in the game, so don't be fooled by what you see here. Although the presentation is simple, the gameplay is quite awesome. And also there's quite a bit of replayability, because although you can knock out the game in a few hours, you will undoubtedly not be able to unlock everything in one run through, meaning that there's quite a bit of replayability here to unlock all the different items. 
Now the next game on our list is going to be Superstar Pat. That is currently 60% off and will be our last game at only $1.99. And Superstar Pat really took me by surprise, mashing up two styles that I never thought would go together, which is basically space shoot 'em ups and puzzle gaming. Because rather than shoot at just anything on screen, you actually have to think of what you want to kill before you kill it to make sure that you don't lock your path and that you can actually make it through the screen. It is a really, really original design and it is tons of fun and very addictive. So now for the next entry on our list, we're going to go up to the price of $2.74 because the game is currently 45% off, and that is Radio Squid, which is a game that is done in a sort of Game Boy Color type design, and it is a fantastic game. The only, only problem with Radio Squid is the game ultimately is a little bit too short, but it is a really awesome little action platformer that I would definitely say everyone should try out at least once and at only two dollars and 74 cents it is really worth the investment this is a game that at the full five dollar mark i normally recommend so when it's like this 45 percent off it becomes a total steal now the next game we're going to take a look at is Mystopia, which brings us to $3.24 because the game is currently 35% off. Now this is a game that I actually fully reviewed on the channel. It's a really straightforward 2D action platformer with some slight Metroidvania elements. But what I really love about this game is it's an excellent entry point for anyone who would be new to the Metroidvania design, not going too deep. Uh, it offers about, I would say, three to four hours of pretty decent gameplay, and it is an awesome all-around art style. Now, the next game actually took me by surprise. I didn't think I'd like it, and I actually got really addicted to its really simple gameplay, and that is Birthday of Midnight. That is also 35% off, dropping the price to $3.24. Number one, the visuals are super attractive. The contrast with the white character with the black backgrounds with little splashes of color is really, really visually appealing. And number two, the gameplay basically plays with a golf type style where you basically have to wind up your shot that gives you some momentum and that's how you have to traverse the different obstacles. Give too much momentum, you'll fly right into an obstacle, give it too little and well, you can drop off a ledge. Birthday of Midnight actually is a game that took me by surprise and I would definitely say has some really simple and addictive gameplay. So next on the list, I actually wanted to take a couple of seconds to look at the Trine series because right now pretty much all of the Trine games are on sale and all of them are under $5 except for the fourth one. The only thing I want to mention is that right now the ultimate pack that has all four games together for only $14.99 if I'm not mistaken is also on sale. So if you were looking at picking up the Trine series and you don't already own some of them, I would definitely say spring for the ultimate pack. That is the best price value right now than picking them all up separately. However, if ever you were only missing some of the elements of the Trine series or you just wanted to try out maybe one to see if you like it, well, all of the Trine, so Trine 1, 2, and 3 are all on sale currently at under $5. I'm not gonna look at all of them individually because it's all the same thing. It's some puzzle platforming that has you selecting between different characters to go through different obstacles. Now, the first two has some really solid gameplay. The third one, I would say, was a down point in the series, in my opinion, and then the fourth one really brought it back up to form. But currently, at 75% off for $3.74 for the first one, it's an awesome place to start. And as you'll see, the other two increase a little bit in price, but they'll still stay under that $5 mark. Now the next game on our list needs very little introduction and that is Among Us that is currently 20% off dropping the price to only $4. Now this is basically a party game or a online multiplayer game and it is only multiplayer. I hadn't mentioned that in a previous video and someone said that they were disappointed by that. So I do want to warn this is multiplayer only. You actually have to have people at least in local co-op. Now Among Us basically has you figuring out who is an imposter among the ship trying to murder the other passengers. And this is just a great game all around, especially if you have people to play with. And that is the important element of this. As soon as you have friends or people to play with, this becomes an amazing experience. So the next game on our list is going to be Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove. And I'm going to do something I don't normally do. 
This is a game that I strongly recommend if you have no knowledge of the Toe Jam and Earl series, watch a review before picking it up. Because either you'll love the chill out gameplay design that this game has, or you'll hate it because it has no specific objective behind it. But basically, this is a follow-up to a Sega Genesis series that really hit by storm and got a really fanatic following back in the day. And right now at 68% off for $4.79, if you loved that series back in the day, you'll love Back in the Groove. Or if you're just into a really game that you can just lay back, chill out, play a few mini games here and there, and have no really specific objective, you'll love Toe Jam and Earl. Now the next game on our list is the first game at $4.99, and I'm gonna tell you at the $4.99 price, we are stacked for this week. We have quite a few games. And the first one is going to be Valiant Hearts, The Great War, that is 75% off, dropping the price to only $4.99. Now this is an action puzzle platformer that is really, really beautiful in design. I love the art style behind this game, and I really love the overall setting. It has a grim setting, however, but if you're into really beautiful visuals and some really solid puzzle gameplay, I would definitely say check out Valiant Hearts. It is an excellent entry at only $5 for this week. Now the next game on our list at that $4.99 price because it is 75% off is The King's Bird, which is basically a really tough as nails challenging platformer. So if you're into like the super meat boy type challenge levels of some different platformers, well then The King's Bird is another entry in that series. Personally, it is not my favorite of the entries in that series. I would go with those Super Meat Boys when they're on sale, but right now at under $5, this is the best entry I have for this week if anyone's looking for a tough as nails challenging platformer. Now, when I said that the $4.99 price point was stacked this week, I wasn't lying. And we have the first of the point and click entries for this week, which is the Edna and Harvey, the breakout series. I'm saying the series because you also have the second entry that is also 75% off, dropping the price to only $4.99. Now, point and click adventures are not my favorite type of gameplay, but these games actually managed to draw me in a bit. So if you're into point and click adventures and this actually got someone who doesn't like these styles of games to actually get into the storyline and care about these characters, you will love the Edna and Harvey series. And at $20, it does it did seem steep, but now at $5, these seems like excellent, excellent pickups for this week. So I won't be showing them individually, but both Edna and Harvey's are on sale. So in line with the Edna and Harvey series, well, the Deponia series is also on sale at 75% off for only $4.99 for each entry. And there are four entries in total that are on sale this week. Now, the Deponia series is another awesome point and click adventure series with some really amazing visuals. So if you're into the point and click adventure and puzzle types, the Deponia series is up among some of the best we have on the Switch. And right now at only $5 per entry, it's the great time to pick up a couple. Now we're almost done our list for this week. There are only a couple of entries left, but the last two are pretty big ones. And the first one of those two entries is the Onikin and Odalis bundle that is currently 75% off at only $4.99. Look, basically every time this bundle is going to be on sale, it's going to be making the list because you are getting two amazing platformers for under $5. One in a sort of Castlevania style design with a slight RPG element thrown in, although not a full Metroidvania. And the other one is a more straightforward action platformer, sort of like a blend between Ninja Gaiden and some other types of platforming styles. But both are amazing entries on their own. And when you get both for under $5, it's just a no brainer. And the last entry on our list for this week is going to be Gun Lord X that is currently 50% off at $4.99. Now this is a platforming run and gun shooter. It actually reminded me a lot of the old school Turrican season that we actually just got a collection drop on the Switch as well. And Gun Lord X took me by storm once again and I really, really love the gameplay. I love the old school visuals as well that really brought back an awesome, awesome design. So if you're into run and gun shooters, at only $4.99, Gunlord X is an excellent entry. So that is pretty much it for this week's list of great eShop deals for under $5. 
Now, as usual, don't forget that if you do want to participate in the $5 eShop gift card giveaway to drop your comment down below, you can let me know what game you're going to pick up, what game you would like to pick up, what game even I should maybe try for future videos. After that, don't forget to tune into the regular eShop deals video that we do each and every weekend to see if you won that gift card or not. Now, last thing before we leave, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget that if you did like this content, the best way to help with the channel is to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.